Um, let's talk about sanding, sanding out imperfections. Is there a right or a wrong way to do it? There's so many different ways to do it. So when we are, say, on a countertop, mm -hmm. uh, and because that's what I do mostly. So you do a countertop, and there's certain things that can happen to it. You know, bugs, flies are definitely yes. the, yeah. the biggest problem. If, the, if there's a fly in there, what you don't want to do is try to cut it out, mm -hmm. if, if, you know, just by itself, because you're always going to slice it up or make a bigger mess than it is. So mm -hmm. you need to decide, is it just in the top and I knock it out and there's a, if there's not a void there, you may be able to not have to worry about that at all. But if you did take a bug out, the best way to do that is you want to heat it up with a torch, that area. And it softens the epoxy and allows me to pick whatever I want out of there. Okay. If I've got a void that's big enough, I'm going to mix up a tiny little bit of epoxy. I usually will tape off right around the hole where it was. And then I will um, just take the epoxy. And I, I like to use a pencil, but you can use almost anything. I like to take a pencil, just put a little drip, 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 take the torch, heat it up. And the idea is you're looking for is that the surface tension, once the torch lays it out flat, you want it to be not a bubble, mm -hmm. not an indentation, but you want it to be absolutely flat. So you have to get right down on it and take a look. Mm -hmm. But it can certainly be fixed like that. Okay. If you had other problems, like um, like what, what other problems would we have? Okay, so for instance, uh, we get like waves or we get fish eyes. We call them fish eyes on there. Uh -huh. uh, we sand those out or you gotta sand out uh, when you have glitter. You want it completely smooth before you can put a decal on right. it. So is there a right and a wrong way to sand out that? Would you recommend going from a smaller grit to a higher grit? Or wet sanding versus dry sanding? I, I guess I would always do a dry sand. Okay. Um, and if you wanted to create, what's going to happen is when you sand the epoxy, it's going to create a matte finish, which a lot of times is desirable on a countertop. Some people like a matte finish. Mm -hmm. So we just sand it with straight 400. Then you could go to 800 and 1,000 and 15 and 2,000, all the way up to 5,000 to polish it back so it's, it's almost as shiny as it was to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, or you might be able to use the honing oil. That's another thing altogether where we're just taking the peaks off of the, off of the surface and taking the sheen out a little bit. That works really well. That's done with a Scotch-Brite pad and, and our honing oil. Mm -hmm. um, but then you put another coat on. The fish eye most likely from the epoxy that uh, that you were using before where you're getting the, um, it's it's a medium viscosity, so this doesn't have the body to build and when it starts to shrink, it's gonna fish eye on you. Like yeah, that. Okay. okay. I don't think you'll have that exact problem. I haven't noticed any yeah. so far. It's been fabulous. Now.